Lyndon Arthur is back, ready to stake a claim for a shot at world glory when he takes on Argentina's Walter Gabriel Shekiera. Part of a huge night of action on Saturday, September the 17th. It's live and free on Channel 5. Rise of Anifier for TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. With me, Gavin Gwynn, still the British champion. Gavin, um, talk to me. Uh, barnstorm, I'm on it. Um, I'm never in a boring fight, but I thought I just nicked that two or three rounds. I thought I threw them more shots. Um, a couple of people said the commentators didn't do me justice. Um, Every time he was hitting me, my hands were up nice and tight. I was riding the shots. Every time I was hitting him, I was ripping his head back. But it is what it is. I still got my belt, and uh, I'm happy. And still, were you um, surprised with his tactics? Obviously, he was in in close, in range with you. He obviously wanted to go glove with glove and and fight fire with fire. But were you surprised the way you approached the fight? I'm um, not really because I said in one interview that he can't win the foot on uh, he can't win the fight on the back foot I'm the champion he got to come and take it to me and he played into my game plan um, I was them left hooks I just couldn't miss with them um, I hit my hand in the third or fourth round couldn't really put any power into that but um, it was a good fight I enjoyed it it was a good fight when I asked you yesterday about your sparring you were a bit hesitant to tell me what was happening the sparring sessions but did you expect him to be as tough as he was yeah, because we've had good sparring sessions. That's that's why I didn't want to say anything. I knew it was going to be a barnstormer of a fight. We're two Welsh warriors at the end of the day. I've got nothing bad to say about Craig. He's a Welsh warrior, same as me. Um, but I just think I just nicked it. Like. At the end, uh, he was very confident. His team were very confident they nicked it. You raised your hand. You were very confident. Did you expect it to be a majority draw? No, I thought I just nicked it by two or three rounds, if I'm honest. Me being the champion... Um, the closer rounds you, you think they'd favour me, but obviously they didn't, but I thought they'd just nick their luck, yeah. A bit of a melee at the end there, uh, what was going on? Um, just one of his corner men who haven't even got a licence jumped in, he's a clown of a block, but it is what it is. Yeah, I was watching it from the from the balcony and I just saw security rushing and I was like, what stirred all that up? No, no need for it, like, we two warriors just had a fight, but you get some bell ends in, the, in, the, in there, I don't know, so it is what it is. What's the plans? I know it's early, but you want to run it back or do you want to just move on? Um, move on. I'm, I'm 32 now. I want to push on for bigger things. I want our European title, so hopefully Lee and Wasserman now can get a big show in um, Cardiff. That'd be, that's the plan. December 3rd on the undercard of Anthony <laughs> Joshua and Tyson yeah. Fury. Do you, know, do you know, I'd love that. I'd love that. I got, I got a little injury in my hand well, for a couple of weeks off now. I'm going on all these next week on my honeymoon, so... Had to put the honeymoon back because I fight them, but we're going on a honeymoon, so rest up for a week and then straight back in the gym. Then. Absolutely, let's, well, let's, we'll hope to see you in Cardiff December 3rd. Uh, Gavin, again, many congratulations. Thank you. Still the British champion, and yeah, roll on. See you at the next one. And still. <laughs> and still. Gavin Green, IFL TV, thank you very much. Yeah, my dad in the street gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad, I've punched him a few more times. There's five blokes outside my front door, you coming out. One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned.